This is the shocking story of why Ronaldo Fenomeno underperformed in the 1998 World Cup. During Brazil's matches in the 1998 World Cup, everyone in the stadium was enchanted by the magic of this strong and complete team. The television cameras often showed, during these matches in particular, a stunning Brazilian blonde girl with European features mixed with Latin ones. It was later revealed that she was Susana, the girlfriend of Brazil's star, Ronaldo de Lima. No one expected when they saw her that this face would be a bad omen for the Brazilian team and Ronaldo in particular. The story began when Ronaldo went to celebrate one of his goals towards the stands, only to see a familiar face sitting next to his girlfriend, which made him angry and started to raise doubts about his love life, which had been a strong motivator for his brilliance and presence. Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo's friend and roommate, said that the man sitting next to Susana in the stands was a famous Brazilian TV presenter. He had gotten close to Susana during Ronaldo's absence while the team was in training camp before the World Cup. On the night before the World Cup final against the French team, which was eager for its first World Cup title, Ronaldo received a shocking revelation about the identity of this man close to his girlfriend. He found out that the man had been accompanying her often and that they had met several times and traveled together to Paris. Suzanne denied all of Ronaldo's suspicions that she was cheating on him or had another relationship that occupied her thoughts. However, she also excused herself by saying that the man was a close friend who compensated for Ronaldo's absence. Suzanne de Lima's alleged affair was with the Brazilian TV presenter, Eduardo Keller, also known as Tuta. This was reportedly a major factor in Ronaldo's breakdown and convulsive seizure on the eve of the 1998 World Cup final. The alleged affair was widely reported in the Brazilian media, and it was said to have caused a rift between Ronaldo and Suzanne de Lima. However, it's worth noting that neither party publicly confirmed the affair, nor the exact circumstances remain somewhat unclear. The drama surrounding Ronaldo's personal life during the 1998 World Cup has become almost as famous as his on-field exploits. Meanwhile Ronaldo couldn't believe what had happened. That night. Roberto Carlos said, Ronaldo ended the call with Susana quickly, unlike his usual self, and began crying for a long time until he fell asleep from sheer emotional exhaustion. In the morning, I woke up hearing a violent snoring sound, Ronaldo was about to swallow his tongue. The team staff managed to catch up with their star, and the doctors had to give him a sedative. It was the same drug that the famous actress Marilyn Monroe used to commit suicide. After he woke up, his teammates were preparing for their historic match in the final, but they were all preoccupied with Ronaldo's condition and saddened by it. The injured Ronaldo headed straight to the field and told his coach at the time, Zagallo, who opposed his participation due to his mental state, don't say it, I know myself. I feel that I am fine and I can play. I will play, Zagallo, don't deprive me of this, as if he wanted to play out of revenge and shine to win a cup that would make up for his sorrow and what he went through the night before. At that time, everyone saw Ronaldo in a very strange state. He was lost and distracted the entire team's focus. France won and claimed its first title, Brazil lost, and with it, Ronaldo lost his girlfriend, Susana, forever.